everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. off to the Mendips, which is a range of hills near Bristol. It's only half an hour away. I'm gonna be doing a Maverick race there. Super excited, I love the Maverick races. They put on such a good event. It has been unbelievably hot recently. Like, I mean, for the UK, it's been like into the 30s, well, just about hitting 30, but day in, day out, it's been just unbearable. And then today, gray skies, a bit of a breeze. I've never been so happy <laughs> to see like worse weather because I was genuinely concerned how I was gonna be able to run in uh, quite such heat. I mean, you get used to it over time, but like I was struggling. Today's race is only 12 kilometers because next week I have my 50 miler and I didn't want to sign myself up for something longer just in case I wasn't feeling ready for it. I've just got the uh, little 12k one today which I'm slightly disappointed about because I know that the area is so beautiful it's around like Cheddar Gorge and stuff but also I'm slightly delighted about it because also I'm really lazy and can't be bothered to do anything longer and then I'll go out for a little run tomorrow just to top up my miles for the week. Like I mentioned it's one week out from race day, big race day like the 50 mile race day which is race to the tower and the Cotswold way and I'm really really nervous for that but it would be nice to get some hills in the legs, some trail runs, without having to make a route and uh, do all the organizing stuff. But first I'm gonna have breakfast, uh, show you my little morning routine before a race. It is currently just before eight o'clock and I'm being picked up in half an hour, but the race doesn't start until 10, so I'm eating now. So we just arrived at the start of Maverick. We are literally in a cloud at the moment, can you see? We're in a cloud. I mean, I did say that I was excited that it wasn't quite as hot as it was yesterday, but we could do it with a little bit more visibility than this. One of the best things about the, the men dips is that there's such nice views. And I have a feeling today is gonna be like any mountain climbing day where you get to the top and you're like, nice views. And all you can see is like your hand in front of your face. Looking very atmospheric. <laughs> we're just going to go and start the registration now um, and make sure that we're warmed up before we get started. Drove me here. Drove you here, yeah, I didn't buy you. I didn't ride that fast. Are you excited for today's run race? In the rain and the mist, I'm going to see the lovely views of the Cheddar Gorge. It'll be fantastic, can't wait. <laughs> How many of these Maverick ones have you done? Uh, this is number three, I think. Three? That's not very many. No, just on the Exmoor ones and this one. Oh yeah, Exmoor was recently. Exmoor ones originally, that was very, very hilly. This is, so it's going to be a breezy comparison. How far did you go in Exmoor? 22k, we had a thousand meters of elevation. Yikes! That was actually a big hike. Yikes! Uh, so you're doing 12k today, yeah? 12k, 400 degrees of elevation, should be easy. Lots of friends on route. So Love it! That? Love it, good luck! Guess who it is? Hello. It's Tony! <laughs> Which race are you doing today? Uh, the long. The long one, and how long is the long one? It's a half marathon, well, 22k, so one you... over. Great. Uh, are you looking forward to it? I'm really looking forward to it. I had to pull out of a race about a month ago because of a niggle, so I'm back. Yes, and, uh, he's ready back. to go. What, what was the niggle? The uh, niggle was a, a interplantar fascia tendon. So if that's your foot, the tendons around your plantar fascia. Oh. No, sorry, your metatarsal. Horrible. So, um, yeah. But it's better now. It's all good now. Good. And, and oh, we're about to start. I guess that's going to Good luck. Thank you, you too. running short races so I usually set up really slowly they're like first 5k is the warm-up first 5k is nearly half the run today so yeah I probably should have warmed up but hey ho uh, being overtaken already is cool just taking it easy 
crazy. in which means just 10k to go and um we started outrageous I personally have started outrageously fast uh, I've done this route in reverse before um but 22k version rather than this one and I know for a fact that where we started it's almost a high point of the route which means it's downhill at the very beginning so if I can't go faster than the downhill it's only gonna get worse so I was sort of trying to warm up the legs by basically like freewheeling down this very nice trailing route. And then at the end there's a long steep hill, which will be interesting. Just had an amazing long stretch of downhill. We are over 5k in, nearly 6k in, so nearly halfway. Um, yeah, it was really fun on that bit. Not too technical, just like a long grassy descent, which is always fun. We are still going downhill, which, which makes the uh, second half of the run sound pretty awful. Uh, we'll see. Might be a bit of hiking involved. Oh my God. I know for a fact that this is a huge long hill and I did hill sprints on Tuesday, leg day on Thursday and uh, can definitely still feel it. Ouch. First proper hiking hill of the race. Uh, this is not one that I would voluntarily run up, especially not with uneven terrain underfoot and 8k in. So nearly back though, crazy how short 12k is. Uh, um, next week of course I'll be hiking any hill steeper than a certain gradient and that will help preserve energy for a long old day ahead. Today, on the other hand, don't really have to preserve energy. It's only 12K, hopefully around an hour. But possibly I should be running bits of this. But hey ho, first time I've walked. Pretty proud of that. This is called a power hike. And on some hills, steeper than a certain gradient. Power hike is more efficient than running, which is why even elite ultramarathoners do it. Granted, I'm not doing an ultramarathon today, but I am in training for one, not a five or 10K. So it's good to get some practice in. But oh my God, my legs are complaining. Back to the flat-ish, so back to running. Well done. Hi, this is Vanya. You can barely see him because it's so misty. Hi, baby. Hey, yo. European sled hound. Yes. <laughs> and how long have you had Vanya? She's three. Oh, she's three. Okay. 
When do they start racing? Uh, she started around 12 months. Oh, wow. Short, short, short. Yeah. Years. Are they better at speed or longer stuff? I thought she'd be great at speed, and she is. But she wants really short, like 2K. Oh, okay. But long distance, she's actually brilliant. Oh. So, that's a new thing. Cute, and this is her brother. Not but not actual brother. Friend. Friend. Very good friend. Yeah. Cute. Very sweet. We've done the course split for the 12 v 22k run. So I am now completely alone. Or at least it looks like I'm completely alone because I can't see any further than 10 meters away. Uh, it is at least a perfect temperature for running today. I'm a little bit warm, but we're in a cloud as you can probably see or not see. And uh, nice and cool. I've really eased off the gas because I've got chatting to those guys and it's really cool what they do. They're like proper can crossers which is exactly what I want to do with Tia, our dog. Uh, she's still young and she had her spay yesterday. So she's sitting at home with my boyfriend looking very, very sad. Uh, so no running today, but Maverick races are so good for getting the dogs involved. I've been practicing can cross, so I think that's what we'll start to do towards autumn and winter. I'm taking some time off after my 50 miler, all being well, if I can refrain from signing up to more races and then sign up for some with T and just go at her pace and hopefully she loves it and loves running with other people and dogs as well. But for now, we still got, oh, we're definitely heading for home, I can see it on the map, just under 2k to go, all being well and according to plan, so probably just over 2k to go. Gains. I think we've got one more short sharp hill towards the end so I'm making the most of the downhills while I can nearly done really pushing it up the last hill so close ouch good of course it was over 12k it was bear with me i don't actually know how to work my watch um it was 12.85 <coughs> in 108 <coughs> <coughs> Woo! so good it would have been a beautiful route if um there had been better weather than this god damn 
your phone! <laughs> go, go, go! Go, go, go! Woo! So I made it back home. That was such an amazing day. Honestly, it's really nice doing shorter races when you're used to doing longer stuff because you get back and you're like, oh my God, I still have like the whole day to just like chill and do absolutely nothing. It was such a fun race. I knew that I was pushing, but like, I didn't feel like I really raced it, especially as I stopped to have several conversations with dogs along the way. Um, but I'm really happy I came in third female, eighth overall out of 77 people. So pretty pleased with that. I didn't really know what to expect. I knew that it was gonna be super hilly, but that's definitely good practice for me because I am so bad at running up hills. I know that I can do it because I've done, you know, several 10K hill sprint sessions, but I just don't like doing it. So I tend to avoid it and obviously in ultra marathons you can avoid it like quite easily you just hike But I ran everything except for kind of one major hill, which I was pretty pleased with that is it for this week's vlog I'm gonna go make some banana bread because I am desperate to have some it is also raining outside And I basically just want to sit inside all cozy with a cup of tea and a banana bread like the very British person that I am I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'd thoroughly recommend checking out Maverick They do some really cool races They're around the UK They happen you know, several times a month and they've got loads of different distances as well That's kind of something for everyone and everyone so friendly as well like when I first went to a maverick race everyone was just like chatting and having pizzas at the end and I grabbed myself um, a coffee and some cake at the end as well it's just like oh, it's the best thing I'm really excited to be able to get back to racing for fun after race to the tower obviously race to the tower I mean it's all for fun you know like I'm not a professional athlete but at the same time I do really want to do really well whereas when I sign up for races you know just whenever without actually training for them there's zero expectations at all so I just kind of go along and, and have a good time um, and I'm excited to get back to that soon with the dog the dog say hi to everyone look she's got her spay uh, hole in her stomach bye baby you are so cute yes you are that is it for this week's vlog thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time thanks again bye